Hey, hey, what's up? Good morning, Cook students. I hope that your week is going well and that uh, you're just growing in God um, during this time and just that God is just doing incredible things in your life. Um, today, I want to share with you uh, from the book of Philippians as we continue talking about this wondrous pursuit of Jesus and and what that looks like and what that means for us and so I want to talk about in Philippians 1, 27, just one verse today. It says, uh, it's Paul is speaking to the church of Philippi, writing a letter to the church of Philippi to encourage them and to give them instruction. In Philippians 1, 27, it says, Just one thing, as citizens of heaven, live your life worthy of the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or am absent, I will hear about you, that you are standing firm in one spirit, in one accord, contending together for the faith of the gospel. Uh, I love just this passage of scripture and what it means uh, for us as followers of Christ that and we are citizens of heaven, right? And, and scripture says, therefore, you know, just one thing as citizens of heaven. Paul is saying, you do not belong to this world as a follower of Jesus Christ, so live your life worthy of the calling that you have received, right? Live your life like you are already in heaven rejoicing with God. You are a citizen of heaven, not of this world. So follow after the things of Christ, right? That's what Paul is saying here. And this is just so important for us because it says worthy of the gospel, right, of Christ. And so if we're going to follow Christ, if we're going to say that we follow Christ, we have to live worthy of that gospel. We have to live with that gospel shining outside of us and working in us and through us uh, for the world around us. And that's, that's Paul is saying in this passage. And he says that whether I come and see you or I'm absent, I will hear about you, that you are standing firm in one spirit, in one accord, contending together for the faith of the gospel. Paul wanted them to know that even if he wasn't there, he still wanted to hear about this church, right? He wanted this church to be doing such great things for the gospel that people were talking about it. So here's my question for us today. Are we doing such great things for the gospel that people are talking about it? Not talking about us, right? But talking about the gospel, talking about how much, you know, uh, it seems that we love Jesus and we love his word and we uh, love contending together for the gospel and um, for our faith. This isn't about us. It's about putting God on that pedestal. It always is and bringing him glory. But one way we bring him glory is is by doing the things that he has called us to do, by living our lives worthy of the gospel he has called us to. So therefore, others see it, are attracted by it, and want to know what it is that we have. And so, are you working together for the gospel? Are you living a life worthy of the calling that you have received? Only you can ask yourself that question, and only you can answer that question. And so, I'm going to pray that, that we are, and that if we're not, that we will uh, begin doing that today. Right? Hey, I love you. I hope you have a great day.